I'm fired up today because the words of the day today are bad faith media. Journalists and YouTubers have been lying about the cannibal corpse situation and quite frankly, it's egregious. You may have seen a headline over the last couple months that reads something like, Gen Z is trying to cancel cannibal corpse or something like that. Very alluring, clickable rage bait title. I like it. Only problem is, it's not true. Nobody's trying to cancel Cannibal Corpse, let alone an entire generation. And the way these reputable sources have latched onto this is just driving me crazy right now. I didn't really look into this story because it's about like three months old at this point. But when I did, I was like, everybody's lying about this. Those headlines are all incorrect. And I'm here to break it all down for you. But before I do, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Dan Frampton, and I am the originator of Hillbilly grindcore. Either that or I just make traditional, old-fashioned, entertaining as all hell YouTube videos here on the internet. I forget which one. If you know, comment down below. If you comment within the first three hours of me uploading, I will reply. We call that three hour gang and you can induct yourself into this gang. It's quite the setup we have. If you make it all the way to the end, you'll be an end gang, even more prestigious over there. And today's video is kind of a spicy one because I will be calling out Loudwire and Nick Nocturnal for their bad faith, untrustworthy practices. But before we get to those jerks, let's just take a look at a random headline over here coming from Metal Injection. Gen Z attempts to cancel Cannibal Corpse. All right, so this is kind of the story they're kind of pushing. What does this kind of tell you? That an entire generation is taken to TikTok. This is kind of what they're putting in your brain, right? This is a big viral thing. An entire generation is canceling Cannibal Corpse. I'm expecting TikTok after TikTok after TikTok. I'm expecting tweet after tweet. All of that, the whole kit and caboodle of people being outraged, of people trying to cancel somebody. Everybody's been living through cancel culture over the last couple decades or whatever. We're kind of familiar what it looks like at this point. So this headline makes me go, what is going on here? Hmm? Cannibal Corpse? You mean the Cannibal Corpse? And already before I read this, my mind is already making arguments being like, hey, you can't cancel Cannibal Corpse. They're just like a horror movie, but for music kind of thing, you know? But that's all before any arguments are being made to me. The only problem is this isn't what's actually happening. There aren't those TikToks, there aren't those tweets. There is one tweet and it's this one over here. Now I'm gonna give you the entire context of what everybody ran with and then I'm gonna show you how they covered it, okay? The initial post over here isn't about Cannibal Corpse, okay? It comes from one user, not an entire generation, one account called Zooey over here and it's about mindless self-indulgences song Panty Shot and it reads separate the art from the artist but this is the art and it's kind of yeah like a Gen Z kind of outrage kind of post but it's not really canceling an entire band. It's not really canceling Cannibal Corpse whatsoever. This is the main post. It has 4.6 thousand retweets and 1.3 million views. So it has a little bit of traction, but still not enough for me to think that it's an entire generation. And still not about Cannibal Corpse. Until we go down below where a user posts Cannibal Corpse lyrics in response as a joke. This guy is on the side of death metal and kind of poking fun at this outrage thing by posting a clearly way, 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 way more offensive type song. Cannibal Corpse have always, oh, I gotta get these words off the screen. Cannibal Corpse have always been an offensive type band. That's the kind of lyrics that they write. That's the kind of imagery that they do. So this alpha Twitter user over here is just making that point. Wait until Gen Z sees these lyrics. Like, get a load of this one, kids. So the post about Cannibal Corpse is not trying to cancel Cannibal Corpse. And you might be thinking over there, hey Dan, how can you infer tone or whatever from just that text over there. You can go either way with that story. No, you really can't. If you just go below this, the user himself clarifies right away. I just want to clarify, I am aware it's death metal, guys. I love death metal. I posted this for a joke, LOL, 
and then goes on to explain all the different kinds of bands that he likes. Literally, man, I like Cannibal Corpse, but I prefer so many other death metal bands. This guy is a connoisseur of death metal and not trying to cancel Cannibal Corpse What? So ever. He's got nearly 600 retweets on this thing. Not enough for me to believe that it is an entire generation. And still only a fraction of the retweets of the original post about mindless self indulgence. So Gen Z, no, it was one guy named Zooey, okay? Attempts to cancel? No, that wasn't it. Just made like a, a critique post about Cannibal Corpse? Incorrect. It was about mindless self-indulgence and a guy made a joke referencing Cannibal Corpse. Just like, oh yeah, get a load of this one. I don't know how you have that little media literacy that this flies over your head. And I would think that as just like a regular internet user. Now I don't really care what this person has to say. They clearly bought it all the subscribers they have 390 views on this video and 337,000 subscribers so I just want you to hear kind of the bad faith nature in which this could be taken and why someone with 300 views is gonna do this kind of thing but somebody with millions of subscribers shouldn't actually do this kind of thing let's just listen to her give the context that I just gave you song panty shot this song features lyrics that raise the eyebrows. The user posted the lyrics with a tweet saying something like, Art and artist can be separated, but this is the art we're talking about. Then an- Okay, I gotta stop her right there. Shows a tweet and then says, says something like, and then doesn't even read the tweet correctly? Oh my god, bro. And then here is the Cannibal Corpse tweet she's gonna talk about. Another user responded by sharing a Cannibal Corpse song saying, Wait till you see this one. That, song that is not what the person said. The person didn't say, wait till you see this one. The person quite literally said, wait till they see this one. Get a load of that one, guys. This is egregious and just like such a lack of media literacy. And I wouldn't be so mad if it was just people spreading this kind of stuff without an audience. It is whatever, just something to laugh at. But big accounts are doing it. But you know a big account that isn't doing it? Rockfeed. And I would expect Rockfeed to run with this, but Rockfeed didn't, and that makes me earn a little bit of respect for Rockfeed. That tells me that they did their due diligence and just added a little bit of journalistic integrity to what they're doing because I think the context and the tone is very obvious and it doesn't even take much digging to get to it. This is where it starts to crank up a little bit and where I start to get a little annoyed. Now I'm not too familiar with pop culture crisis over here, but they have 140,000 subs and got 22,000 views on this thing. And now I'm thinking, uh, this message is getting out and it's not right. Um, this is what they're saying about it. And this is just the opening. I'm not going to get into everything. Gen Z attempts to cancel Cannibal Corpse. Impossible! <laughs> I'm really curious about it's your like opinion impossible specifically. impossible plus unacceptable <laughs> exactly. combined. Unbelievable is what it is. It's egregious is what it is. That is un- True. And I watched this whole thing and they just go on to make all those arguments that you make in your head before you listen to an argument being like, you can't cancel them. They're like a gore film. They're like shock rock. They're trying to be offensive just to be offensive. What are you doing canceling these guys? Oh my God. Just listen to the arguments if they're going to be arguments. But the problem was there weren't any arguments. No one tried to cancel this ban. Oh yeah, uh, the reason why I know there aren't any arguments is because the quote retweets of the Cannibal Corpse thing, the wait till they see this tweet, are memes. Are just people taking the piss, man. Nobody is outraged. Absolutely nobody is trying to cancel Cannibal Corpse. It's crazy, dude. And here is why I'm all fired up. And this is where it all starts. It starts in print. Loudwire running this story. Why are people outraged over Cannibal Corpse lyrics all of a sudden? They're not. They're so clearly not doing that in this one tweet thread that's going on over here. And another example that shows how little care these people are putting into this stuff, this pop culture crisis crew over here, when they're reading these lyrics, at first, they think the first lyrics here are about Cannibal Corpse, and they learn that it's about mindless self-indulgence halfway through delivering the story. It's crazy. It's freaking crazy, man. They're like, oh, oh man, that, that isn't even a Cannibal Corpse song. It's mindless self-indulgence. Anyway, let's continue on with this Cannibal Corpse narrative that we're pushing incorrectly. But where my 
blood starts to boil. Where I start to get a little bit hot under the collar is when I go over to Nick Nocturnal's page and he has this thing called Death Metal is Cancelled. Let's just see how he opens his video. I don't even know how to start this because this is something so ridiculous. I mean, we, we experience a lot of ridiculous things in the metal music scene, a lot of like, what? But this is just a moment in, in metal history that people have gone so far gone because you guys might know this little band called Cannibal Corpse. Very PG friendly. Your local Christian band. Ha ha ha. Funny joke, violence, Nick Nocturnal. Amazing artwork and uh, incredible lyrics. And somehow they've been a band for, I don't know, like oh, 30 f***ing years? How long have they been a band for? When did they form? 95? Da, da, da. Like, Come on. Shit. Come hey, on. What the f***? 1988. Holy shit. Apparently all of the sudden Research people the are offended by their lyrics and are legitimately complaining about Cannibal Corpse lyrics. Also, no, they're not. No, nobody is legitimately complaining and he's referencing the Loudwire article in his little video over here. None of that was true, bro. And then he just goes on to make the same arguments as he reads from the lying piece of sh article over here that doesn't tell any of the story whatsoever. Nobody is outraged. People are just memeing around, bro. And then making all these arguments. They've been around forever. The whole thing is just to be offensive. Yeah. Obviously, but nobody is arguing. Nobody set out any of these points. And the people that are, are just doing it as a meme over here. And I'm not saying that there aren't some Gen Zers in these comments that are kind of like falling for it and going crazy with it. But it's only one tweet thread. It is not about an entire generation, bro. And then they just cherry pick the random ones that are all upset or whatever. I don't care if it's satire or some sick idea of dark humor. This is fucking disgusting. Okay, how am I gonna put this? Cannibal Corpse wrote their lyrics to be as offensive as possible, right? So when people get offended by them, that's kind of like the intended reaction, you know? So when they get that intended reaction, then the pundits and the commenters are like, why are you reacting like that? It's so silly, man. It's like putting popcorn kernels over fire and then getting mad at them when they turn into popcorn. It's insane, bro. And the fact that Nick Nocturnal is reading from this article and not actually going to the source just shows you how bad faith this guy is, how lazy this guy is, how little this guy actually cares, and how much stock he puts in Loudwire's word when clearly they're just cherry picking to tell this narrative because it makes for like a more clickable thumbnail or whatever because they can't put mindless self-indulgence in there because Cannibal Corpse is the band that is still actually relevant. And everybody that knows this face over here, Corpse Grinder, the lead singer of Cannibal Corpse, knows that this guy rules. This guy loves teddy bears, this guy loves claw machines, this guy loves charity, this guy is a family man, okay? He's actually a wholesome guy. And his art is an expression in the same way that B-level indie horror films are an expression. And I don't think that that fact is actually lost on Gen Z. There is no cancellation going on. I can't believe we're in an age where anybody sees Cannibal Corpse and it's also these old songs, these old crazy lyrics. They're like, whoa, wild. This is not as- That was the intended purpose when they wrote them. They wanted to offend the normies of the time, and they're gonna offend the normies of any time that they exist in relevance, bro. Why are you shocked or appalled by this? And it was one tweet thread. God damn, this guy sucks so much. So yeah, the guy that can actually play riffs, the guy that knows how to actually play guitar over here, should kind of stick to that because this is not his thing, all right? And Rockfeed, good job ignoring this one. Absolutely commendable. I'll be less hard on you for being a bootlicker next time I cover something that you cover. I'm a little bit passionate about this topic, and the reason why I find it so appalling and egregious is because it doesn't take that much digging. It doesn't take that much journalistic effort to come up with what the real story was here. And maybe it was a slow content week. And yeah, it happened in August. I know it was a slow content month. But you don't need to go out there and actually make stuff up. That is like bat boy levels of Inquirer. Nick Nocturnal, 1.4 million subscribers. 
and they're all being lied to. It's a sad state of affairs. But right now, you've made it to the end of the video, and that means you're in Endgame. And to me, that means I respect you a million times more than I respect Nick Nocturnal. That guy sucks. Three hour gang, end gang, you're all the best. Thank you so much for watching. Until my next upload, watch another upload. Okay, see you later, and have a good one.